O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sins. From earthborn passion set me free and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray through darkness and perplexity. Point thou the heavenly way. Christ is the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth. He has made us a kingdom for his God and Father, O oh God, give your judgment to the king, to a king, son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice, and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people, and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like rain drops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to its bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tharsis and the sea coasts shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. Christ is the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth. He has made us a kingdom for his God and Father. The Lord shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives, to him their blood is dear. Long may he live, may the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing, and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land, 
to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rise like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen, amen. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. The Lord shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. The saints have triumphed by the sacrifice of the Lamb, and by the testimony which they uttered. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come, for the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The saints have triumphed by the sacrifice of the Lamb and by the testimony which they uttered. Jesus suffered outside the gate to sanctify the people with his own blood. Let us go to him then outside the camp and share his degradation. For there is no eternal city for us in this life, but we look for one in the life to come. Through him, let us offer God an unending sacrifice of praise, a verbal sacrifice that is offered every time we acknowledge his name. Christ humbled himself for us and in obedience accepted death. As they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. As they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had said the blessing, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. Let us adore our Saviour, who at the Last Supper 
on the night he was betrayed, entrusted to the church the memorial of his death and resurrection to be celebrated throughout the ages, confident that he will hear as we pray. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. Christ our Redeemer, let us share in your passion by works of penance. Let us attain the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. Grant us the protection of your mother, the comforter of the afflicted. May we bring to others the consolation you have given us. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. Unite the faithful to your passion in times of trouble and distress. Let the power of your salvation shine forth in their lives. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself even to accepting death, death on a cross. Grant to your servants obedience and patience. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. Share with the dead your bodily glory. Let us rejoice one day with them in the fellowship of the saints. Sanctify the people whom you redeemed by your blood. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, since for your glory and our salvation you willed Christ your Son to become the eternal High Priest, grant that the people he gained for you by his blood may be strengthened by his cross and resurrection when they take part in his memorial sacrifice, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.